Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode, from me, I'm a man that says I waved my enchanted diamond sword around your nose. So, what we're going to do today is something that we've not really done before. I mean, we've used that um, transport system in the Never to get us a long way, like a thousand odd blocks away from base, just by going a few blocks in the Nether, which is great, and we love that. But what that means is we miss out all the stuff in the middle, and we don't know what's between where we've gone and where we get out and i thought it'd be quite nice to have a little bit of a wander around i want to start doing some more i was going to say advanced stuff but we all know that it's not advanced more stuffs i want to work myself up to getting myself into the end at some point in the not horribly distant future and that's going to mean what i want to do first is explore around where i am and maybe I don't know, two, three thousand blocks out in every direction and know what biomes are around. I'd like to go and see if I can find a maybe a mansion, forest mansion. I want to see if I can find a jungle temple, all that kind of stuff. I want to kind of tick those boxes before I lob myself into another dimension that I can't come back from until I've twitted a dragon. That's basically my objective here because I've never been to the end. I have been playing this game for two and a half years. Massive confession time. I have never been to the end not once i've not been to the end we're going to do it in this series and probably not in a hundred episodes from now but we're going to do it in this series and then we're going to use the resources of the end to build up the world more so the end is not the end we should probably call it the middle it should actually be called the middle so i've never been to the middle before that's just stupid let's get on with the episode where we're going to go is we're gonna i've got to turn myself around now so i'm gonna go oh look there's a lighthouse up there i'm really happy with that and actually this render distance you can just see the ghostly figure of my um of my uh, xp generator there my mob grinder that's cool too right what we're going to do is we're going to go across to uh, the other side of the bridge now one day again in the not too distant future i'm going to be building a rail track that runs basically all along the outside i'm going to go around i don't know why but i just i feel like i've got to look now so all along the outside see that underneath bit i'm going to lob a railway that goes all the way across there so as i can kind of mash mine carts with resources on to go across this bridge otherwise it takes ages and what i also need to find are some villages i want to get some villagers into the um, spawn area so as i can create an iron farm and a villager breeder and that kind of thing because these things work best when they are in the spawn chunks because that means no matter where you are in the world as long as you're in the overworld they're working they're still kind of chunking out the iron and whatnot and that's like just a no-brainer for me rather than me do it somewhere where the spawn uh, the chunk is going to despawn if i'm all away from it i want to do it where it's always going to be going and the spawn chunks are the place so we've got to find a village and it's not exactly rich with villages near where spawn is anyway let's get across this bridge so hands up who didn't know that we were going to come past the mate space if you didn't know we were going to come past the mate space you ain't been watching properly we need a sign we're going to go in the mate space and we're going to stick someone in right so we're going to do a quick review of everybody that we've got in the mate space so we have got the Talbots, aaron and alex we've got anna we've got lee We've got Champion Gamer, we've got WAP, the WAPOW, we've got Joanna, MTF Plays. Hello, Joanna, I wonder what things you're going to say about this episode. We've got Casey, we've got Nathan, we've got over this side, Creating with Crystal, we've got Draymer, and we've got Catherine Dawes. And today, we're going to do... One, oh, hang on, I can't, where's me gone? There we go. On here, we are, what are we, episode 17, aren't we? Episode 17. Today, we are doing Fork Draws. Yep, Fork Draws has been around for a while. And actually, Fork Draws has got quite a nice channel. Go and have a look. They do some art stuff on the channel. It's really, really very, very clever. I did a, a shout out Sunday with for Fork once. And um, actually, I hadn't realised just how good the videos were. You might want to go and have a pop. But Fork Draws, you have always been there for months and months for me now thank you very much you are very welcome to the mate space um it has been an absolute pleasure meeting you through the medium of youtube let's get ourselves going it's now night time i'm going to be wandering through the woods which is always a bad idea but i am properly tooled up and i've just eaten a pork chop so everyone knows that you're never going to get hurt if you've eaten a pork chop now what i'm going to do i'm going to be looking at the direct opposite direction 
of where the spawn is. So if I bring up F3, F3, right, so that is pointing facing west. So we're going west. And you can see it's almost directly west if you look at that little kind of turny thing in the middle that's got green going up and blue and red. It's almost directly west because red points east. Look, so if you go that way, you can see red points east. That is pointing south. If the blue's pulled you, it's pointing north. And if you're doing like that, you're just pointing straight up, you Wally. But we are going, don't, oh, I'm going, we're going directly west. And we're going to try and keep going more or less west just to see what we end up with. So let's get rid of that. And we're going to crack on. Um, I'm not going to sleep at the moment because I feel relatively confident, relatively confident that I'm not going to get properly mobbed. And we are straight in here, look, straight in here to a swamp, swampy biome. So let's get across here. Now I wonder whether or not this swamp biome here, I am actually in a swamp biome, aren't I? I've not gone mad. Swampland, yeah. Um, I wonder if this might be quite a nice place to put in a... Uh, a, a not a swamp farm what are you on you nutcase not a swamp farm but if i was to build up this into um kind of land into grassland it would actually make for a very nice area to try and spawn in some slimes um and i could build slime farm a bit like i did in my slime farm tutorial a few months back the, not the one we had to dig down to the center of the earth which takes forever but the one where you can just put a couple of iron golems in which is actually quite a nice idea i like the fact because this isn't too far away from where i live whereas the other swamp biome was ages away so i need to remember that that is a potential um slime farm right there we'll have a good crack at that in a future episode i'm not doing it now because we've got things to do what we've got over here so we are moving into another biome already. So it's only a tiddly little swamp. I wonder if that would compromise the amount of slimes that it might actually produce. But we've got some horses here, look. Hello, horse. I've not got anything to tame you with, unfortunately. Otherwise, we could have maybe had a bit of a horse ride. Oh, is that a, is that a skeleton? I just need to target practice a bit. There you go. Burn, baby, burn. Not because I want you to die. But because, actually, no, that's a lie. I do want you to die. What? Oh, there's another one. I didn't know you brought your mate. I didn't know you brought your mate. What's going on there? There you go. Take that, buddy. Oh, no, maybe you didn't brought your mate. You just did. I reckon you just did. So let's carry on going, shall we? Is that another one there? Look. They're all over the place, these skellies, aren't they? Get stitched that. Call me Katniss Everdeen. Oh, and there's a... Whoa. We're going... We're going, we're going to get deaded. No, we're not. We're going to be all right because I am all over that. Right, so now stop messing about and do what you actually came out to do, mister. You're messing about too much. Let's come across. I now need to reconstitute myself. We are going. That is facing south. Oh, somebody is coming for me. That's facing west. <coughs> I got a little bit scared then, didn't I? Goodness me, what happened there? Right, so we've got to face... Where's me F3 again? I've lost me F3. I want to be facing west, which is that way. Let's get going. Out of the way, horsey. I have nothing to tame you with. God, there's loads of horses here. Actually, it's, that's quite nice. I like the fact that there's loads of horses here. Now, I've already brought with me quite a lot of resources, um, like a stack of wood and a stack of dirt and a stack of cobble. For me to look, there's a creeper there. I don't like them. That was an appalling shot. That's three shots. I missed it. Three shots. What's going on? Ah, no, I've hit the horse. Sorry, horsey. I've shot you in the face, Mr. Zombie, again. Yes, we're having a right old fight. Um, I'm sorry about that fire horse. You were a, a flaming Gigi for a little bit there. Never mind, collect all your arrows because you don't want to move them, do you? There we go. And we're going to carry on going this way. But I don't want to get hit by that. And I don't want to get hit by that. So let's kill you both a lot. Shoot you in the face. God, there's creepers all over the place. What's going on? Well, I wonder if go for a little walk. I can't even hit them. Why aren't you dying? 
There you go, that's better. We're coming this way. Oh, look, there's loads of horses still. I've missed out on all the horses here. Gutted. I know, at least they're quite close to me. So let's carry on. And we'll see if we can't get some... Oh, what's that? I spy a village that wasn't, wasn't too bad and too far away from me. Right, so if I come over here, is this my village? My closest village? I think it might be, you know. I'm sure I just saw the rooftop of a village over this way. So let's come over here. So we've got a nice little village there. Look at that. That's quite nice. Oh, look, we've got some interesting rocky formations over there. Right, so let's come down into the village. They've even got a road that goes up a hill. That's quite... Look, they've been ever so resourceful about doing that, haven't they? And I'm just going to come and plunder them like a nutcase. So what have we got? So have we even got any villagers or is this a deserted village? No, we have villagers. Hello, Mr. Villager. What have you got? You want 10 leather for an emerald? Or... And then three emeralds for a pair of leather trousers? You've got to have a laugh, and you? That's the ridiculousest... That's an appalling trade. Why would I ever want to do that? You've got to be some kind of nutcase. That's never happening. But there are villages here, which is good. So I'm actually not too far away from a village that we can get some villagers from. And I can poach them, bring them back to spawn uh, by transporting them across. And then once we've done that... Look, yeah, there's quite a few. We're all good. Um, and once we've done that, we can start to build up some more farms, which is obviously what we're trying to do. I don't know as we've got any interesting structures. I think it's just your basic village here. And I have absolutely and completely lost my FPS. It's just fallen apart. Look how they've got... That's odd. Villagers, are you aware? Do you have any level of awareness that you have floaters above your head with trees on? They're not just floaters. They're floaters with big old trees on. That's not good for you. You know that's not good for you. Right, so we know that you are here. So let's just make a quick um, quick note of the coordinates. So we've got minus 1341.48. Remember that, people, please. Make a note for me. Minus 1341.48, because that is going to be where we nick our villagers from. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to get some of this dark oak because I've not got any dark oak yet and it actually would be really quite nice to use in some of the builds so I'm going to gather this up so as I've got some and then I'm going to get a load of the saplings that hopefully come off the back of it and I can grow some at spawn so I don't have to keep coming back all the way here every I think I just got a load of oak as well at the same time um, so that's, so there we go look we've got dark oak wood there that's nice so if I get this and tower up a little bit right and where's my axe gone there it is and just carry on just going to grab a load more of this until it's all gone all right so let's gather up these extra bits and then we i'd like you to rot away please but you're not going to are you i've just got horrible food and you're not going to rot so i'm just going to get a load more of this stuff so if i gather no, just just enough for us to be able to do some crafting that would be nice and then we can take it back to base camp happy days i'll be back when i've got a little bit of this so i've got a little bit of a supply of dark oak now which is great um i might actually get some sand whilst i'm here i might as well get a little bit of sand right you can never have too much sand there we go let's get loads looking at this this shovel's flying through this sand there we go We'll have a little bit of sand, just so we've got some, and I've completely ruined this biome now. Right, so let's crack on and see if we can't get back where we want to be. Am I still heading? I'm still heading in the right direction, yes. Let's carry on.
rather annoyingly turned up again at another ocean which is not really what I was planning but there is something quite interesting over there so we're going to go and have a look at that over there but I think what I might do is I might actually do a bit of boating do you think it will be worth hmm I think it might be worth going basically going over the ocean a really really long way if there is indeed a really really long way of ocean to get across to go and see what's at the other side of this water because I what I appear to have happened is where I've spawned, there's a lot of water. So I've traveled, I don't know, a thousand or so blocks. I'm not even sure, I've not been counting, obviously. But I think there's, we're just all about the, what, the sea. It's a very maritime spawn area. But I wanna come over here and see whether or not there's anything interesting in this village whilst we're there. And then what I might do is I might make a boat and just, and just go that way a lot and see what happens in the boat. So what have we got? Have we got anything worth having in this village first though? God, whenever I go into a village, my FPS drops to about minus two. It's really annoying. So what have we got in here? Well, we do have a chest where we have some obsidian. That's always good. I'll have some bread and I'll have an iron ingot. I don't want your boots, mate. You can keep your boots. But, uh, that's something. Right, let's make a boat and let's go across the water. So we travelled a lot across the water for quite a while and we've ended up in an ice worm, which is funny because you run on ice and you just keep sliding. And I'm going to run and I'm going to run and we're just going to be slide. Look, I've just stopped and I didn't stop. But what we have got is we've got some ice. I've picked up some snow. Oi, you. Oi, don't you do that. That's very naughty. I'm going to attack you with my pickaxe. Yes, indeed, because I can. Let's Hey, don't you do that. Right, that's it. I'm having you. What just, what just hit me then? What's that? What's that? I don't even know what that is. Is that like a wraithy thing? What is that? That's hit me with some kind of anti-buff thing that has. That's not on. Well, that's a new experience for me. What on earth happened then? What, seriously, what on earth happened then? I don't even know. Oh, it died and I shot a second arrow at it anyway. I, I don't know what happened then. I've not seen a, a skeleton, a skelly bob that move. Is, is it moving like that because it's moving across the ice? Or is it moving like that because it's some kind of different sort of wraith that you get in ice biomes that I don't know about because I'm a noob? I don't know. But what I do know is that I've got some snowballs and what I thought I would now do, because I've got my gentle pickaxe has the, uh, the silk touch Dubri Hoofer. So I'm going to pick up some ice because I can. I'm going to get myself a stack of ice because this could be useful in future builds. Possibly. So let's just get myself a whole stack of it because you never know when it's going to be useful. I don't know when it's going to be useful. I've not got any plans for it at the moment, but it'll be good to have. Just get a stack of it and another one, and another one, and another one. There we go. So now we've got a stack of ice as well. I now need to eat some yummy bread to get those hearts back. That naughty weird skeleton lobbed at me. And I need to go west, which is that way. So let's keep going. We want to know what we've got. I want to find something interesting. What's that? What's that? What's that? That's going to be... Somebody wants to have a go at me. Look, it's another one. What is it? It's not just a normal skeleton, is it? That's a that's an ice skeleton. It's making the funny noises as well. We don't like being on fire, though, does it? And it makes a funny hissing noise. Oh, and it's there's something going on there, right? So, I'm, what am I what am I going to get rid of? Let's get rid of a stack of snowballs, and that's. An arrow of slowness, is it now? Well, that's that's boring. I'm just going to get rid of it. But that's why I couldn't move properly. That's what that ball and chain is. It's slowness. Oh, now I understand. We're going that way. Right, let's crack on. There's enough of this mess. Look how far my, look, my arrows were all over the place. I was a terrible shot because I was slow. There's me thinking it was lag. 
and it wasn't. Yes, I just dug something out with my bow. So sue me. <gasps> look, it's one of those really rare biomes. It's an ice spike biome. I need to go and have a look at that. Is that an ice spike biome? Or is that just a load of weird looking mountains? I want to go and see it. 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 I think it is, you know. I think it might be an ice spike biome. Is that what it's called? Something like that, isn't it? That's so cool. That looks really cool. Right, so what have we got here? What do these things have? Have they got anything exciting in them? Or is it just a load of ice in spiky form? Let's get up to the top. I'm really excited. I've not been in one of these before. Let's get up here. Up we go. We're going up the icy bit. And we're going to see some icy spikes. Up, 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 up. Bounds. How cool. I've not seen one of these before. That's really cool. I like it a really lot. It's absolutely no use whatsoever to anybody. But I really, really like it. That's cool. It's, oh my goodness, I'm really angry. There we go, that's that sorted. So, is this just... If I get my pickaxe... What is that? So actually, it's not... Okay, well, let's do my... It's not anything. It's not actually... It's not giving me anything. I don't know. Weird. In the comments below, what am I trying to mine that isn't mineable? I literally don't know what that is. Yeah, hang on, if I go F3 and point at it, it's snow layers. There's snow and snow layers. F3. Right, so that, that was kind of awesome. Look, I spiked by him. How cool is that? I might have to take a screenshot, <laughs> actually, because um, I think we've just found the uh, the thumbnail. There we go. So if let's, let's get you live. You heard it here first. Or saw it here first. This is live. We are doing a screenshot for my thumbnail. There we go. Right. That's really cool. But we've still not really found anything that I wanted to find. And I'm, I'm running out of time for this episode. It's a bit of a shame. What is good to do in an ice spike biome? Other than obviously collect a load of ice. Which uh, is what... Look, it just goes on and on and on. That's brilliant. I, I'm so, I, you know what? I think I'm not going to top this in this episode. I'm just going to call it here. I'm just going to call it a day here because I don't know if I'm going to top. This is probably the most exciting thing that's happened in my life for, well, minutes, really. So let's do, let's do it there. I think that is a, a fitting end to this episode. Look at these icy things. They're really cool. I really like them. That is, this is, this is how a noob reacts to a, a biome that he's never been in before. Brilliant. Anyway, we're going to call it there, as I've said. And if you have enjoyed the video, please do make sure you slap that like button all over the place. Give it an icy, spiky slap. You know you want to. You know it makes sense. And also, in the comments, tell me what use these things are, because I literally haven't got any clue other than for collecting a load of ice. I don't know. Whatever. And if you haven't done it already, please do slap that subscribe button. It'd be great to know that you are in my sub club, and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.